Do you know the history of how Germany was created and that the proclamation of German unification was not made in Germany, but in France? There was a time when there was no Germany, but rather several small states with populations that spoke German and had a similar culture. So there were Germans, but there was no Germany. Of all the German states, the two most powerful of them were Austria and Prussia, which competed for the influence and dominance of the smaller states. In the 19th century, Napoleon invaded all of Europe, including the German states, Prussia and Austria. The French occupied several regions with German populations and created the Rhine Confederation, which in practice was a puppet organization of France, something that irritated and enraged many local Germans, uniting them under German culture, which began to gain a lot of strength. After the defeat of Napoleon, there was the Congress of Vienna, which was held to reorganize Europe and maintain the balance of power. And in it, the German Confederation was created, which was an alliance that had as one of its intentions to defend the Germans from foreign invasions. Everything was normal until the liberal revolutions of 1848 took place throughout Europe, including in the regions of Germany, Prussia, and Austria. The revolutionaries defended a political system less centralized in the monarchy and mainly the creation of a unified German state. They held the Congress of Frankfurt, where the revolutionaries created several measures to unify Germany and even invited the King of Prussia to be king, and he denied it. Quick summary of what happened. The revolutionaries were persecuted in several regions, and most of the reforms adopted by the liberals were abandoned shortly afterwards. But the feeling and idea of German unification continued and mostly became stronger. As time went by, Prussia industrialized very quickly and became much more powerful than Austria, which was economically weakened and faced several internal crises. But something happened that would completely change the history of Europe. Otto von Bismarck became German prime minister he was against liberal reforms and argued that Prussia should be the leader in German unification. But how were they going to do all this? In the old Prussian way. Bismarck increased and modernized the German army. And in addition, he knew how to play politics and be a good diplomat and was just waiting for a crisis to happen for him to take advantage. And it turns out, in 1864, Denmark had declared that some German states were actually Danish territories. Prussia and Austria united against Denmark, and after a few wars, they conquered those territories and divided them among themselves. Prussia got Schleswig, and Austria got Holstein. But the Austrians didn't really like this division of territories and were dissatisfied with the Prussians. Bismarck took advantage of the opportunity and formed an alliance with Italy, offering Austrian territories in exchange for military aid. And shortly afterwards, Prussia invaded Austria together with Italy. And because of the powerful Prussian army and the decadence of Austria, Prussia won the war. As a result of the war, Prussia annexed several northern German states and formed the North German Confederation, which even had its own parliament. As Prussia grew and became more powerful, it created some enemies, one of them the French. But Bismarck knew it was a matter of time before a crisis happened again, and it actually happened. During that same period, Spain was in an internal crisis because they didn't have a king, and they offered the crown to the German Prince Leopold, but Napoleon III, who was the Emperor of France, didn't like this at all because France would be surrounded militarily, and he pressured the Germans not to accept the Spanish throne. Wilhelm, who was the Emperor of Prussia, wrote a telegram to the French, but Bismarck modified it to make it seem like the Emperor was provoking them and saying that France was weak. The result of all this? The French declared war against Prussia. The Prussian army was more organized, disciplined, and better equipped compared to the French army. Over time, Prussia won several battles, even capturing Napoleon III in one of the battles, thus forcing France to surrender the Germans occupied the region of Paris, including the Palace of Versailles. And inside the palace, the greatest German authorities, politicians, and military men gathered and made the declaration that Germany had been born 
and all German states under Prussian influence had unified into one. The German Empire was born. Shortly after its unification, Germany was already the second largest economy in Europe and was competing militarily against the United Kingdom to see who would dominate the continent and even the world 